Hi guys, uh, as you may know, there's an important Windows feature is supported by the latest AMD driver, which is hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. This is the feature uh, which optimizes GPU scheduling uh, and uh, it provides the stutters high performance. Here we see the setting of this feature uh, if it's supported by the uh, graphics driver. I have test many but selected three sets of drivers. Now let's analyze the results of tests to find the best one uh, for the current DCS-256. First one uh, is the latest uh, 451.67. Uh, as you can see, that's pretty good result. Uh, FPS low results are high. FPS max is 107. There is very little but no obvious uh, stutter at the gameplay. It's uh, very successful. This driver came with the hardware accelerated scheduling uh, with Windows. It helps uh, better performance and uh, removes stutters. 44598 is a typical latest period hotfix driver from NVIDIA. Here we see maximum FPS is lower, about 10%. FPS uh, 0.1 uh, low is lower too, it means stutter. This driver does not support hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Many driver series from NVIDIA are giving the same results. They cause stutter. Uh, they are not uh, very different from each other. Uh, to have 5 to 6 months. Uh, they give the same results, so they are not different from each other. This driver is the typical example of them. This changed with the latest 451.67 driver. I have tested 5 6 series of them. Uh, this is not the only one I have tested. Uh, but they are approximately the same. I don't see any reason to use these uh, unless you have a problem with the latest one. This is the famous 43648, frequently mentioned at the forums which does not cause any stutter uh, even at the famous MiG-21 module. As you may know, it has a very serious problem with its radar on. FPS max is higher than the later ones, except the first tested latest driver. Especially FPS low uh, values are very high, as you may see, 91 FPS, FPS 1% low. FPS 0.1% uh, low is higher too. It's more successful uh, than the latest one. At this category, it means it causes less stutter and FPS drops. Even without supporting the GPU scheduling, it's more successful. It means that it's uh, better optimized for uh, DCS. Only the uh, FPS max is uh, lower than the latest driver. So I think uh, this is a very successful driver for DCS users, especially for the ones who has uh, lower performance cards. But uh, this driver lacks some features. Uh, as we can see, it does not support image sharpening feature, which came with the uh, later NVIDIA drivers. And uh, this affects uh, the image quality. And one more feature is the VR uh, features. Uh, VR features are not supported with this driver. Uh, for these features, and if you have problem with the latest driver, you can uh, use uh, later uh, drivers. But uh, if you don't mind about uh, these features, you can use uh, this driver uh, for less stutter for low performance cards. So briefly, which one to choose from? Let's get the abbreviated result. Now we modeled the NVIDIA series uh, drivers for the uh, last 5-6 months in three categories. The latest one, 451.67. And you can use, if you want, hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. It means less stutter. It's the highest FPS performance and it has VR features. Uh, the oldest one here, uh, the famous 436 uh, uh, it caused nearly no stutter, less FPS, but no FPS drops even at MiG-21 uh, radar, but no VR features and hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. 
the drivers between these uh, you don't need to use them there is no reason at all unless you have a problem with the latest one thank you guys please subscribe to my channel see you bye